The search for a missing Blair County woman came to a tragic end after her body was found shot and abandoned in Bedford County. And tonight, police say that it is a senseless killing. The two teenagers arrested and charged with her death are only 15 and 16 years old. And authorities say that robbing and shooting someone is something that had been discussed for weeks. Maria Miller is here with the latest for us tonight. Maria? Marty Jen, the Bedford County District Attorney, likened this case today to that of a thrill kill. The two teens involved he classified as thugs and wannabe gangsters that for weeks had allegedly talked about robbing someone for drugs. He says they even talked about shooting someone, and that's exactly what police say they did. She may have had hard times, but she loved her life. Sally Haar is living a parent's nightmare after her daughter, 21-year-old Stephanie Waters, was found shot, bloodied, and abandoned over the weekend. Police in Bedford County say it happened after a drug deal with two young teens. 15-year-old Ryan Hardwick and 16-year-old Deontay Moy are both behind bars without bail. To think that a 21-year-old girl with a life full of ahead of her was senselessly murdered over some weed is heartbreaking. It was in the parking lot of the community center here in Woodbury where police say the drug deal went down. They say that Waters pulled out some marijuana before both teens smelled it and then Moy shot her not once but twice. And shot her in the neck. A few seconds later, he shot her a second time in the head. One of the teens then shot the dog. It has not yet been determined who pulled the trigger and fired the shots into the dog. That was Friday night. Police say the boys then headed to Altoona, where they contemplated taking Waters to the hospital, but instead drove around for hours. Police say smoking the weed they took from Waters, her dead body still in the back seat. It wasn't until the next day police say Hardwick ditched the vehicle outside of this house in New Enterprise. According to the criminal complaint, most of the information on what happened actually came from the teens, both allegedly telling police the same story of what happened, including that they both for weeks had wanted to rob someone of drugs and shoot someone, which is exactly what police say the two did. This is the chilling picture on their Facebook pages showing Hardwick holding a gun. These two men wanted to live the gangster lifestyle. They talked tough, they acted tough, and that they can be as tough as they want from the inside of a prison. Both teens have been charged as adults. Only one is facing criminal homicide, that being Moy, because police say he's the one who pulled the trigger. That gun, though, police say Hardwick took from his grandfather. The teens, again, they're only 15 and 16 years old. They are in Bed the Bedford County Prison tonight without bail. Reporting live, Maria Miller, 6 News. There are new details on a fire that claimed the life of a Clearfield County woman. The fire started just after 1 this morning. One neighbor tried to help the woman, but says the fire was too intense for him to get her out. Devin Clark working that story and is here now with more. Devin? Well, Marty, the coroner says that a 74-year-old woman and her three pets died in the house fire on Moose Street in Lawrence Township, a fire so bad that crews had to come twice to the scene.